well Pedro first of all welcome back to the Banksy Stadium how happy are you to be here today well thank you very much I'm really really happy uh, I was looking forward to come back to Bescott and and catch up with the ex teammates and people in Walsall so I'm, I'm very excited about tonight and tomorrow's game it must be fantastic for you to hear. Do, do all the memories just come flooding back as soon as you arrive in the stadium? Yes, as soon as I walked through a tunnel, it was like remember all the good days and good nights I have here. Uh, it was probably my, my best football in jazz in my career. So I got so many good memories and, and it's, it's like being, being at home again. For maybe the Warsaw fans who don't know a lot about you, maybe our younger Warsaw fans, first of all, tell us a bit about your, your career and how you came to Warsaw. Well, I started in, um, in Real Madrid Academy when I was 16, and I spent there uh, six years until Real Madrid B, which is uh, Real Madrid Castilla in the Spanish Championship. Uh, after that, I moved to down south in Spain to a Spanish Championship to a site called Almeria which I spent one year there and then I moved to to Logroñez, another championship side in Spain and there I wasn't playing regularly so I was a little bit upset and I had the chance to to come to England to a trial in Macclesfield. So I came, uh, I liked the place, they, they liked me and, and I, signed, I signed a contract till the end of the year. After that, uh, I came back to Spain and my first idea was to, to stay in Spain, but uh, I received a call from Tramiel Roberts from the English Championship. Uh, they offered me a three-month contract and I think it was a good chance for me to, to go back because I, I fall in love with the style of uh, football in this country. So I went there, uh, didn't work well, and I got the chance to come on trial to Walsall. And I was looking enough to, to perform well. I signed for two months and then after that I signed for one and a half years and after that three more years. So I spent here five years, which were, uh, as I said before, the, the best years in my football career. Going back to when you first came to England, was that a, a tough decision for you to move country and come to England? Yeah, now all the players had more used to, to go to other countries and in my time, I think I was the only Spanish player in English football or English championship. So yes, it was hard. I didn't speak English, which is a, a, a tough, tough moment for me. But uh, as soon as I started to, to feel the atmosphere of the grounds and, and the passion of the football, uh, it was easy for me to take the decision. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of, of being able to play in England for six or seven years. And of course, what are your memories of your time at Warsaw, particularly that 2000-2001 season where the team got into the playoffs and then eventually won them? Well, that year was, was fantastic from the start till the, till the end. And I think the, uh, getting promoted automatically is, is, a, is a great feeling. But getting promoted against a big club like Reading through the playoff with the atmosphere, the millennium, and the way we did it, is, it was something special. So uh, my memories of, of this year, that, that year was, were uh, unbelievably good. Just, as I said, since the start from till the end, uh, we have a very good, uh, very good uh, dressing room, uh, very good manager, and the atmosphere in the, in the ground every, every weekend was uh, fantastic. So uh, I think it was the, the best season of my life. What are your memories about that match specifically, the, the build-up before, you know, that, that week before, and then obviously walking out on the pitch at the Millennium Stadium? That must have been goosebumps and a really good feeling for you. Yeah, to be honest, the, the week before it was a, like a normal week. You, you can feel the, the nerves of the important game, but we were focusing, do the, do our job, and I, I didn't think about anything else. So it was like a normal training. We, uh, I, I remember when we walked in the, into the Millennium Ground with the, the top on and it was like boom, impressive and, and, and then you realise the, 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 the big game we were, we were going to play. Uh, after that, when we were, we were walking the pitch at the start of the game and we just see 45,000 from fans from Reading and, and 15 or 20 from Warsaw, which is unbelievable. And the atmosphere was was very very good, and then they scored the first goal, 
and we, we was we were able to to go back uh, level. Then they uh, score again, we draw again, and then that's scored a brilliant goal, and we managed to get promoted. And you can see the faces of the fans, the faces of the every player, the faces of Rai, and uh, that's something that will stick in my memory for my, uh, the rest of my life. What were the celebrations like for the players after the game, the evening, the next day, the next week? How long did the celebrations last? Uh, yeah, well, not, not too much for us because we <laughs> were from a different country and, and we flew to our countries in the, next, the following day. But I, I remember after the game coming up and have a beer with the, with the supporters, the fans, and, and, and everyone was very, very happy. And, and we have uh, quite a few beers in the, in the trophy in the coach on the way back to Walsall. And after that, I don't remember much more. <laughs> just, just wake up the next morning and head back to Spain. <laughs> It must be nice for you today, you'll get to catch up with some old friends that I imagine you've not seen for a very long time, then you'll get to watch Warsaw in action tomorrow against Rochdale. Are you looking forward to both of those? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to watch the, the game live and to say hello to the supporters. Uh, I meet George quite often because um, I'm, I'm travelling to Portugal uh, every two or three weeks, so we've been in contact for the last, last three years a, a lot. Uh, I met Raki in Marbella a month ago, so I keep in contact with them via WhatsApp. I, I, it, it will be lovely to, to see their faces again and to, uh, to share their mem or memories from last year. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to say thanks to the fans tomorrow because I didn't have the chance to do it when I leave Walsall, so hopefully tomorrow I'll have the chance to, to say thank you and to the, to the fans.